LeBron, you said in February you couldn't picture yourself leaving Miami. Do you still feel that way? Uh, I mean, um, I would deal with my summer when I get to that point. And then my team will sit down, we'll, we'll deal with it. I love Miami. My family loves it. You know, but it's, it's, a, it's obviously, you know, right now that's not even what I'm thinking about. You guys are trying to find answers. I'm not going to give you one. I'm just not going to give it to you, so. You know, when I get to that point, I deal with it. And, uh, you know, when it gets to that point. I'm pretty sure it's to that point. Uh, it was a tight-lipped LeBron James following that crushing loss to the San Antonio Spurs. The real answers for James and company come by month's end. As we welcome you to game time, Vince Cellini alongside my buddy from the beat, Sekou Smith, also from uh, NBA.com's Hang Time blog and the Hang Time podcast. So the next decision has been looming over this team and LeBron is the trigger man. The city holds its breath. Yeah, I, I mean, if you ask me what, what I said in February and, and whether or not that holds now, it's, it's dangerous for LeBron because so much was said when things were going well in Miami. After you lose in the finals, all of the questions come back up, just like in 2011 after they lost to Dallas, where does this group stay together? Does LeBron mm. want to go back and, and deal with this process again of making another decision, whether or not to stick around or to leave? Um, but huge summer uh, on tap in Miami. No question. And LeBron was asked about it again on Tuesday because that was a day to pick up the gear and pick up the pieces of that 4-1 series loss to the San Antonio Spurs in the steamroller NBA Finals. Retirements of players like Battier, perhaps Ray Allen, early terminations, uh, options for the big three, all reshaping the Heat team as we know them. LeBron stepped up for his exit interview and said this. I haven't even began to even... <laughs> wrap my mind around it. I've, my mind been on what happened in the finals, and uh, you know, disappointed in, in, in you know, and myself not being able to come through for the team um, to help us win. I haven't really. I need to get away with my family, um, you know, before I even start to think about, you know, what what happens next. I, I feel more at ease this time. Um, 2010 it was, was was out of control. It was the craziest summer I've ever been a part of, and uh, you know, and I learned a lot from that. I learned a lot from that summer. You know that I can actually, you know, if I decide to to need to go back to that place, I can use a lot of what I did or shouldn't do, or whatever the case may be, going into this summer, and um, and figure it out from there. So um, you know, I'm definitely in a, in a in a better place right now. Even though in 2010 I was I got put out in the postseason, you know, earlier than I expected or, you know, or didn't ac accomplish what I wanted to. And I have kind of the same feeling now, you know, being put out of the, um, you know, the postseason before um, achieving my goal. So, um, you know, the feelings is kind of the same. Um, it's a great place. Uh, my family's here. And I love working here. So if you love your job, that's what's most important. And we're competing. We have a chance every year, and um, I think that's a very good thing. What we have is a very committed group um, to, to do whatever it takes, and, and we'll put together our team and do whatever is necessary. <laughs> um, we feel uh, we have a lot to, to offer here as a first-class championship organization that's proven itself. Uh, our players know what we're about. Uh, and they know uh, about the Heat family that we've been together through, uh, through everything. So this will be uh, something that uh, we'll deal with um, in a couple weeks. But we've been through it before. Um, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, this is uh, how it sets up, again, the early termination option for LeBron, Wade, and Bosch. Player options for Haslam, Birdman also, who reportedly plans to opt out of his final year. We'll see. Uh, may have seen the last of Rio, Sekou, and there's a list of other re unrestricted free agents as the potential rebuild begins. But this is an interesting time because LeBron really is in his prime, so he has to do what's best for LeBron right now, but also be convinced by the Miami Heat that they're going to get this thing right. They're going to reset and get back on top. Sure, and I think the, the biggest part of this equation for LeBron is Dwayne Wade's status and whether or not he's going to be able to play at a high enough level for this to be a Batman and Robin thing, or does Chris Bosh become that number two? Or do you have to go outside of the Heat, current Heat family and, and find a number two? Carmelo's name has been out there, obviously. But really, this is a different scenario to me uh, than when he decided to come to Miami in that he's not 
making a choice about championships. He's won championships in Miami. He knows it's possible there. He knows it can be done there and what it takes to get it done. Now it's up to the Heat to put the right team around him. All right, and of course, the basis of all of that was the big three, and it is the big three for all intents and purposes. But Sekou, as you look at the rebuild, what, what parts or what holes need to be filled? For this I don't think there's any question, Vince. They, they have to have an upgraded point guard. You know, Mario Traumas, when you, have, when you can take him out of your starting lineup deep into an NBA Finals, that's not a guy you can count on consistently to be your starting point guard. I think you have to find somebody who can shoot it, you know, who plays well off of LeBron because that's the kind of point guard you need, a guy who can make shots. Um, but you also have to find a presence inside, a big man or somebody that can play in the post to take some of that pressure off LeBron. Carmelo makes a, tons of, a ton of sense because of this. He can do a lot of these things we're talking about. But getting him is going to be a lot tougher than, you know, than just what it looks like on paper. Right, but there's a lot. To, four straight finals is four straight finals yeah. uh, for this team. And maybe they can do what the Spurs did, use this as motivation heading into next year.